All right, everyone. So welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. And uh, in this one, uh, this second part, we're gonna uh, we're gonna quickly show and talk about how we get our character from Maya into Unreal and how we get our animation with it. So uh, just to pr just to show you guys what we're gonna do, like here's uh, the end result. So just a very simple animation. You can see uh, as as we've talked about before, the eye blinks are blend shapes. So just to see, you can see the characters blinking. So we're getting our blends in in Unreal. That's called a morph target. Uh, and uh, you can see we have all our animation moving uh, as well, and our character is alive in Unreal. And that's going to be our goal. So I'm quickly going to run you through how we're going to do that. And by doing that we're going to go back into Maya. So I have two of Maya files open, I got one scene here. And this is the dog rig as is, with no animation on. So just the way you download it. Uh, so what I quickly want to do here is um, go in and I want to make sure and prep this for Unreal. So some things that you should know quickly about this rig is that it's actually it's a it's a very basic rig uh, on the on the outside, but under the hoods there's some complexity. But all that complexity we strip out because we have all our movement done, baked down to this single hierarchy. So even though you see in the rig you see all this stuff going on here. So if I say show all here and you have these things going on everywhere. Uh, all of these joints are actually not driving any parts of the mesh at all. These joints are controlling the joints in this hierarchy that's called the driven hierarchy and they're all here. Which is one big hierarchy which is exactly what Unreal will be looking for. So you can also see like if I unhide this one uh, I've stripped out all the end joints because we want to keep uh, the amount of joints as low as possible for fast computation. Uh, so, in this case I'm just gonna select the driven hierarchy, I'm gonna select uh, my geometry and I'm gonna select my game blends. And my game blends are my blend shapes. I, so, uh, selecting all of those, those three groups and we're gonna hit File, Export Selection. There's a couple of things that we need to make sure is checked when we're in the Export Selection mode. Also, make sure when you export, you export as an FBX. I'm assuming that you know how to load up FBX if this shouldn't be done. If not, you go to Windows Settings, Plugin Manager, and then you find the FBX, hit it on, and then it should be inside inside your export selection menu next time you open it. Uh, in this in this scene, in this case, we're going to keep everything as default. We just want to check one thing. Uh, animation is fine. We're not going to have animation in the scene, but just keep everything as default. It'll be totally great. Uh, advanced Options and just quickly go to your units and make sure that you're in centimeters. It'll make it easier once we get into Unreal. So let's try and just write over this file so we can replicate what I just did in inside of Unreal. So I'm gonna hit export selection and I'm gonna say yes. If I wanna override it and I do. So let's quickly get that done. And here we get some warnings and we're quickly just gonna talk about these warnings just so everybody knows what's going on. So the first one skin definition. There's a joint with no skin definition. That's fine. That's this one. That's the that's our that's our base joint, our root joint. It's gonna tell Unreal where our character is in the world. That's fine. Next one is constraints. So we haven't we've selected because we selected the basic standard defaults for exporting is looking for it we've told it not to export constraints. Uh, because in our hierarchy we have constraints, gonna tell us that it can't do that, or that it won't do that, basically. So we can ignore all these all these mistakes. They they, they don't matter. So that's the expo exporting of the base character. So now we're gonna go into the actual animation file where you guys have hopefully done well better animation than I have, because mine is pretty limited. But just to prove the point, so here you go. There's some good old intersections here, but it's all great. So the first thing we're gonna do is. Um, how I prep this character? How how did I how did I get everything onto? Because obviously we're not gonna export anime uh, all our curves and all that stuff into Unreal. We don't do that. We want to get all our animation on these joints. We want to bake that out. Um. And how do you do that? So what you do is you can see here my reference rig here, and it doesn't matter that one scene is referenced while all this scene is referenced. You can import it if you want to, but it won't. It doesn't matter. So go under the dog publish just as we did in the in the rig file, uh, and then you can select the driven hierarchy group. So this is uh, the group where all our driven joints are in, obviously. And as you can see here, I've I've got keys on all of my all of my joints. 
So you can see like no matter which one I select there's keys on everything because I baked it out, so I baked all my all my all my frames on all my joints. So how did I do that? I selected the root joint here and then I selected the last joint in the hierarchy. It doesn't really matter, uh, that's a constraint, but I'm gonna deselect a, a joint. It doesn't matter which one, I'm just gonna deselect the joint and then select it again. Because then the last selection will always be shown in my channel box and I want to be able to see that. So let's try and go to edit and then go to keys and bake simulation. Okay, so we want to go for all selected. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one we want to do. We want to do all the keyables on those selected. That's fine. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you have the constraints included as well. That's just going to give us the the error. They can't bake constraints, but we don't care. So, so that's all good. We're going to go for the time slider. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take the driven challenge. That's fine. And we're going to take all the shapes. That's cool. Uh, we don't need to take controls points or any of this stuff. That's all good. So let's just uh, hit bake. Uh, well, I've already done that, so I don't want to do that again. Let's just do it anyways. So we'll be fine. So now I've done exactly what you guys should have done. So you can see like it's still working, everything's great. So now you think that you're ready to do your uh, import into Unreal, but there's still one thing that we need to do, to do uh, in order to get everything with us, and that's taking care of the blend shapes. So first off, I'm just gonna hit off the joints here so we can see what's going on. And I'm just gonna go into my geometry, and I'm gonna show you here, we have about seven or eight blends at this current point. So all these blends we obviously need to get in, but most sometimes you forget that you also the blends come from blend blend node here, and you can see I also need to. It's very important that you also bake out the blend the blend shapes inputs. So you can see like how I have inputs here, uh, at least some. Let's see. Oh, I think I only did the eyes just to prove that this was working. So let's just go here. So yeah, I think there's only an. I blink somewhere. Yeah, there you go. So there's a couple of eye blinks here. So what I did was basically just go in here, select the name of that blend node. So I'm control A to make sure that I select the whole sentence. Control C up in my I set this one to select by name, paste in here. And now I got that one selected. I'm gonna do the same thing as before. You don't need to begin uh, uh, as before, I'm gonna go to keys, bake simulation. Do exactly the same as before. Hit apply. All my ba all my blend shapes are now baked in. So let's try and just quickly do the German hierarchy. Select that one on the geometry. Select the LODA and the blends. And let's try and uh, hit export again. So one more time. FBX export. Export selection. Slave it as the select it as the dog anim. So I just call it anim. But in your case, you'll probably call it whatever your character was doing. If it was running, jumping, start jump, mid jump, end jump. Uh, it could be anything. So, in this case, I just call it anim. Export. Do you want to override it? Yeah. Sweet. And export is done. It's just gonna tell tell me some the same errors as we got before. They're all fine. We can ignore them. And here we go back into Unreal. So let's try and close this character editor down. I uh, got the tutorial open here. There's no need. So I assume that everybody kind of know like a little bit like how to just at least create a project for Unreal. I mean, it's it's basically just opening the launcher and then clicking create project and then you should be here. Uh, you will have like an empty content folder. So I just divided mine into meshes, animation, and shaders. But I'm, for now, I'm just gonna import everything in here so we can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna say import to game. And first off, I'm gonna select my dog here. A couple of messages here. Okay. Uh, so, what do we actually want? The dog, uh, the the dog, the first one we we passed out was the one without the animation. So we want to make sure that we say import skeleton. We want to import the mesh. Uh, we want to make sure that morph targets are ticked on. So if you can't see these things, so make sure you click this one to drop down the menu. And you want to make sure that you have morph targets. When we're importing the the first dog, we didn't have any animations, so I don't want to import animations. If if there is none, it's just going to create like an empty animation node, so I'm just going to take that one off. If I say import all, it means that I could have more than one character FBX selected. So if I had ten characters selected, I could say import all. In this case, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I only have one. So let's say import. And a few things that were that's worth mentioning here is that blend blend shapes would usually be like a little bit. Harder, higher, increase your polycounts, but it won't increase it in the same way as your character mesh. Uh, 
So you can have some, but you shouldn't have a whole lot. Uh, so this is what we get. So here's the dock. Uh, you can see the character got in and it it looks great. So everything's working there for her, but there's still no animation. So this is why Unreal is really cool because now we can import the different kinds of animations that we want. So let's try and go here and say import again. And this time we're going to select the animation tab here. Uh, and if I select that one and say open. And in this case, we don't want to import the mesh because we already have the mesh that we need. We only want the animation. So let's try and hit that one off. And as soon as you can see, like everything closes up. So I'm importing animation, obviously. Uh, and I'm going to select which mesh, which skeleton do I want. So I have like two in here now, right now. So let's just take the one we have here. So I'm looking at the I'm looking at the, the definition of the path because I want to make sure that you guys get the same as I do. So you can see on the path in the little log here you can see path you can see like the other one is already on the on the meshes so i'm just going to select this one to be sure that we're getting this dog right here so now i'm going to say import it's going to import all my keys tell me how many i have all that info and there we go so here you go everything is in there and you can see how the dog is here it's moving it's opening it's uh, it's opening cl we're checking that it op it opens and closes its eyes because usually the animation is quite easy to get in it's the more targets can usually go like a little bit funky but everything is great and it's working here so let's try and like quickly just see here so you can see on the mesh you have all your blends here and you can see how they're still working for you exactly the same so everything's great you can see that he even has to twitch here. Everything comes perfectly in from my... So that's basically it. Uh, I wish you guys luck. If you have any problems, like uh, post in the... Just throw me a comment or send me a mail. Uh, I'll, I'll get back to you if I can as soon as possible. Thank you guys.